What is up guys? Welcome to a little Counter-Strike video. Today I thought I would go over how I practice the game and learning flashbang spots and stuff like that. So one, and probably the biggest one, is when you go into Counter-Strike, first of all you can see live streams. This is the best place I've found to learn general game knowledge and just making smart heads up plays. Uh, people like Summit are really good at explaining what they're doing while they're doing it. So I would recommend his live stream. Tarek is a really good live streamer as well. Or he's a really good player. He's not necessarily my favorite, but he's a good player. So those are two great places to start. Also, you can watch the actual games. Um, generally, uh, the the streamers will be up here on the most popular um, games on GoTV. So watch those, watch the demos of these games and you'll learn a ton. I guarantee it. So that's where I'd start if you were completely new to the game, but I, I still go back and watch those all the time just to learn, um, just heads up plays because, uh, you can sit there and practice your aim all day, but if you don't have game sense and like guessing where the other team is going to be or what they might do, then, uh, it's not going to help you uh, as much as you know if you have good aim and you have good game sense then you are a really deadly player so anyway how we practice um is just go offline with bots i'll just do competitive dust two and we'll select no bots as the bot difficulty so as this loads up um i kind of explain how uh, i got into the whole idea of practicing counter-strike <laughs> is because counter-strike has a pretty big learning curve let's be honest um it's not one of those games you can just pick up and you'll instantly be good at. It certainly takes a little bit more effort on your part than something like Call of Duty. So um, the first thing I'll do is enable the develop console, which is under game settings. Just make sure enable developer console is there. And then we'll hit the tilde key and SV cheats. If I could spell one is the first thing we're gonna use. Uh, again, in the description will be all of these commands. So um, I might not go over everything. So you can Google these or like on the Steam forums, there's plenty of them, but SV cheats one is a great place to start. Give weapon, we'll give you pretty much any weapon you want. So underscore AK 47, not 48. 47 will give us that. And then we can do like HE grenade. It's a normal grenade. Flash bang and smoke is usually the ones that uh, I'll practice. So that's smoke grenade. Uh, another one you can do is in SV underscore infinite ammo one. That way, as you can see, I can just sit here and spray all day and my ammo never goes down. So um, that's usually where I'll start as far as this game goes. I, another thing I would do is like bind a uh, key that you don't use H to no clip and basically no clip just lets you fly through the map. So if you're curious about an angle or how far up you need to throw something or just need to get across the map really quickly, this is a great way to do it. Just hit H again and it will drop you. Um, you might get stuck if you try to like turn off no clip. There's like an invisible ceiling in the game. So don't forget about that. Uh, make sure you're close enough to the ground to to un no clip if that's even a term. Anyway, what I usually do, um, especially if you're really new to the game, is practicing your spray. And well, with AK, you probably shouldn't spray that much, but uh, just getting an idea of what the recoil does is a great start. So if you just don't hold down the, um, don't uh, try to account for the recoil rather, then you can see it kind of makes like a T or a seven. So what you'd want to do is just go over here and kind of try to do the opposite of whatever it did over here. So it went up and then left and then right and then left. So we want to go down and then right and left and then right. So uh, that just takes time. I'm still not the best with sprays and stuff like that. I still like to just kind of do a double tap or a triple tap with the AK. And that's the best way really to practice your aim. Um, again, tons and tons of deathmatch will go a long ways as well. Uh, it kind of is hard to just go into a game and then try to figure out what recoil is doing when you're under pressure to actually diffuse a bomb and all kinds of other stuff. So that's a uh, deathmatch and just kind of spraying walls is how I learned how to deal with recoil. So just a quick few flashbang spots I'll show you, I guess, while I'm in here is one, if you kind of look at this little angle here, kind of shot it out for you. You can throw a flashbang up there and this is more for retaking the site um, so as you can see that flashbang pretty much exploded right here which there's always a T seems to be sitting in goose or if he's last alive he's probably in here 
or if there's two of them, there might be one right here. That'll generally get all three of those guys right there. Of course, if they're out long, then uh, you'll have to throw flashbangs the other direction, but um, those, that's just an easy one for an A retake. Um, and you know, obviously the basic ones, just remember you can bounce stuff off walls and that's really your best friend when it comes to Counter-Strike and grenade tossing. So, uh, one more that I'll go over on B tunnels. I see a lot of people just kind of throw this flash and they walk out backwards. This is a really good way because that like five or two seconds where the flashbang is bouncing around is a great amount of time for this guy right here to just go pop pop and you're dead. So this one, while it works, is not a good plan in my opinion. Um, it has to be really lucky timing. So you can throw one around the corner. Uh, you want it to explode more over there, but you know, the basic idea would be to get it over in this general area while you're still sitting in B tunnel. Uh, kind of relaxed. You can always just kind of let that one go off and then try to peek that guy. My favorite personally though is uh, this one right here. You want to try to bounce it off that wall over there so you can throw it kind of under that little lip and when that one explodes it should come right here which will blind anybody in this area and you can just walk out. As you saw it didn't blind me and you should be able to get some easy picks on the guy holding this site. Another one, if you're trying to retake B, this is one of my personal favorites, is throwing it up there. They're not usually expecting, if they hear something over here, they might not expect um, anything to be like blowing up in this region. Uh, there's another one off like this little area right there, but I oftentimes mess it up. Yeah, you have to throw it just far enough. I'm not very good at that one, so I don't generally use it. And of course, you can bounce one right up through double doors, which is pretty common. But uh, those are just a few flashbang spots. Obviously, you want to know to smoke double doors. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything that's really simple and basic that I can tell you guys. Uh, one I really like to do is throw smoke at goose. So if you're trying to take cat and maybe your team is pushing up from long, you can smoke that off so these guys can't pick you. And even this guy at this box, he kind of has to be in the smoke to peek to the right where you he would normally have to go to pick you from that angle he's in the smoke so he'll either have to come out here which is really dangerous for him or he'll have to be forced to fall back at long which your teammate moving up could probably pick him so those are just a few flashbangs off the top of my head how i go around and practice uh, you know in the game is just i might just sit here and throw i really need to work on that flashbang actually uh i still can't get it but you know that's how I learned a lot of these flashbang spots, just sitting here and learning exact angles that I can and can't throw them. So, um, yeah, this is basically how I practice Counter-Strike. Uh, another great way, like I mentioned, is just to go in and watch, watch, watch. You'll learn ten times more watching somebody than just throwing grenades uh, at yourself, basically. So, anyways, guys, I think that it's just about going to do it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Again, I'm not an expert on Counter-Strike by any stretch of the means. That's why I practice. But that's how I set up a practice session and go around and just, you know, throw some grenades, especially on a map that you're not familiar with. Uh, I just use Dust 2 as an example, but most people know Dust 2. So uh, things like Mirage has a r lot of really particular flashbangs and smoke spots. Same with Nuke has a lot of really specific smoke spots and it's some good jumps in that map as well. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Thank you so much for checking out this video and I will talk to you later.